everybody welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, got a bit of a treat here today is we're going to take a trip over yonder across the mountains here in the uh, east glacier area with recon lobsters uh, ats expansion and what's changed is uh, now as far as i know the hidden road here I'm, I'm not sure if on my version i've got the hidden road in here now there, there's a hidden road here. We're going to take it over here. And all this landscaping is done. So we're going to go up the mountain, cross the top, and down the other side. And it's all landscaped and snow-covered and beautiful. It looks just fantastic. You might have got a peek of it uh, in the um, uh, uh, live stream on the weekend. So I think we might have. Oh, no, we, we, we did the trip from here, didn't we? Or I, I forget. We did this one the other day anyway from the horse ranch, Heart Butte. And uh, there's the prairie sand and gravel. And there's the buffalo we went by is on the map now. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. So what we're going to do, I wonder if I can click that and connect there. Oh, no, that doesn't work. So this will change when we get over here, and it's going to go from 377 miles. It's going to drop way down. And we're going, oh, look at We go up the hill at the other end. We've driven by this a few times, and I pointed out, oh, there's that crazy log site up the hill. This is awesome. Oh, this is going to be a really good trip. Okay, so uh, let's uh, hop in, get going with our venerable old Viper here. I've heard oh, good we go. things about you, <laughs> but I was told that you roll stop signs, speed occasionally, and get lost frequently. Let's see if we can do something about these bad habits. Maybe we can make a proper driver out of you yet. Okay, maybe we can. Uh, yeah, I just love this old Viper. And see the glass, like how nice and clear it is? Like, you know, we got some sun coming in there, but, you know, that's normal. Some sun rays, it's perfect. I like this version. Once again, this is the version that's on my uh, Google Drive. There'll be a link in the description. And we've got Pinga's uh, logging trailer here, B double. I like this B double logging trailer because it's kind of neat you can back it up. So, anyway. Leaving behind us the uh, logging site or the uh, facility. And I see he's moved the service trigger over there by that payloader there. You can see in the distance. But we're going to just hang a right and go up back through the woods here. to go through this ditch here too quick oh it's improved a little bit oh no it's been like this for a while I guess and it's a heavy load boy I hope we can get it up this mountain oh new passage updated okay cool he's done it in this version so you can see on our map now from this point forward that's going to show up as the road uh oh Maybe shouldn't have grabbed that gear. <clears throat> so nice. So this is really good. So the whole reason uh, Recon did that was so that you can get routed this way now. <clears throat> so we're on the logical path. So if you were to take a site from back where we just uh, take a site, <laughs> take a load from that site, you would get routed this way if you're going to Missoula or south or Great Falls or wherever instead out the uh, the uh, road as it's existed for quite a while but yeah we're gonna see what we have for traction on this thing getting up those hills it's a uh, 68,000 pounds so we're gonna have to be on our game here happens if you put uh, when it's all updated if you put something like Grimes Frosty Winter over top of this 
sorry, Recon, was that blasphemy? <laughs> and uh, so Recon got a hold of me today, uh, this being Monday, I'm re recording this, and mentioned that uh, about this road and also that the planned release date for the update in all of this stuff I've been talking about lately is you this must have been a, you must have been a terrible boy scout turn uh, around as soon as you can no this coming this coming uh, Sunday so at some point Sunday this is going to be out so look at this around here now there's uh, another logging site there but all the trees and terrain and everything's in here. Okay, so we've got to get this thing into, uh, get the diff lock in. This may be the heaviest load I've taken out of here. I've taken 60 some thousand before uh, out the other road. I don't know if I've done it on this one. So anyway, let's get the diff locked up. Ah, and I think uh, some of these tighter corners on the inside of them, the inside of the turn, Recon's going to move the uh, collision zone back a little bit to give you a little more room, but we've got a fairly short truck, and uh, we've got uh, a double articulated trailer, so we should be okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. I missed my shift there. I forgot to... Oh, if we could only just get going. I forgot to move the range splitter down when I... There it goes. Starting to go. Starting to go. Oh, we. That was entirely my bad. feel like shifting a gear right here. I think I'm going to just... There's an elk. I didn't know... Oh, no, reindeer. I keep saying elk. Uh, Recon tells me they're reindeer. Here we go, into the snow. And, yeah, this trailer is really handy up here. Oh, why did I take that gear? There I go again, getting bold. do that oh. God, how goofy and went for shift I should never got gone for I don't know. what's going on with me people okay let's just hold it here for a little bit we get around this corner Well, so far so good. We got our our three driving axles are doing the business here. And there's enough weight on that front trailer. It's putting weight on the drivers. Ooh, look at that climb! Wow. Well, we want to look around here too. See some of the scenery. Of course, this had scenery on it before, up at the top here. But it wasn't finished to the degree it is now. 
And when we go down the other side, it's quite something. What's our fuel range? Oh, we're good. Oh, we're not done with that diff lock. That's something. Oh shoot! I should have taken a photo. Or maybe it's not too late. We'll get up around here. Uh oh. Uh oh! I missed my shift again. Oh shoot! I'm, I don't want to take a photo. Oh, what a mess. Okay, I'm gonna pause, guys. Or actually, unpaused. <laughs> just well, we're stopped here just to look around a little bit. I mean, look at this. Isn't that fantastic? What a view! Wow. Oh, should have had the truck more in the view. There we go. That's fantastic. I just love this stuff that uh, Recon's done here. It is amazing. Oh, look at that. There's my, uh, there's my Christmas cards. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get the brake off and uh, get going. Smacked her right into that. Lost my focus there for a minute. That's inexcusable with the trailer this maneuverable to hit the snowbank up here. Oh boy. mesh back there on the rock face and here what they do they put that there over uh, especially if it's fairly new uh, a rock cut because uh, it takes a long time for all those small rocks and everything else and to finally become dislodged by weather rain wind whatever and um, with winter and moisture and frost and freezing and thawing and uh, the action. Oh, what happened here? Oh, there's a little problem. I'll have to uh, take a photo of that for recon. Well, that's not going to make them happy. That was weird. So, um, yeah, what happens is with the uh, frost and action in the winter and everything, it takes quite a, quite a while for everything to settle down. So they put that mesh over the face and then what that does is uh, keeps small rocks from 
going down and causing havoc. Get on the bridge. Ooh, that was close. Boy, that's looking pretty good. We got our high beams on there. Pretty soon we'll be all done with the uh, with the uh, diff lock. Uh oh, not steering. Come on. Ooh wee. Just love it through here though. a nail biter. Holy. We're going to wait for that road though. I think uh, Recon was saying the other day to me that he was going to take, see what uh, heaviest load he could take out of there was. I forgot to get the info from him. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll unlock when we get to the highway up here there. Getting the unlock warning. Yeah, so that way there will be buffalo. You keep going straight down to the end and Get around right right. is the horse ranch. And the first right on that road is the uh, prairie sand and gravel. Turn right now. Okay, let's get that diff lock off. Well, that's cool. One windy logging road to another. So we're going to compare that to the SCS one at the other end of the trip. Boy. It is a heavy load, though. Boy, the old truck's pulling hard. I got the uh, hopped-up engine that comes with it. Should have the badge rate on the side of the 840. 840 horsepower. But I like the engine badges on this version of the Viper, like, you know, you change the power of the engine, or the type of engine, if it's a Cummins, and you got a, it'll put a Cummins badge on the side of the hood. And if you got the uh, cat like this, puts that cat badge on, it's kind of neat. I think there's Packard too, I, I thought there was three different, oh, maybe it's Detroit. It's got Detroit badges too. So, this Sunday, yeah, be looking for the update, get it on Truckee. Turn right now. I gotta put the link in the video anyway, even though it's to the previous version, you may ready, already have it. But if you don't already have it, and you're watching the video, grab the link. And you'll get the East Glacier where we started from, and the road, the road going um, out towards the, uh, the town of East Glacier. And it's kind of like that. It's all, oh, it's beautiful. So make sure and grab it, uh, follow the link anyway. And uh, enjoy it. Get get to know some of it and just to know that there's a whole bunch more coming on uh, Sunday. <laughs> and when I uh, say there's a whole bunch more, well, maybe I over-exaggerated in that last video when I said it. <coughs> it was like, 
<laughs> they've doubled whatever they put in it, but it's a lot. Yukon kind of called me out on that. That that was a bit of an exaggeration, but I don't know. They got they're going to try and get together and catalog everything they've changed since the last time you got a version change, and there's a lot. A lot of ranches, gravel sites, uh, businesses, oil stuff. Oh, it just goes on and on. So in this uh, video, I'm using um, no paid mods again, and this is 149, of course. So uh, I'll put the video or the items I am using in. Uh, but this time around, we're using I got Retro Development 24/5s on the front, but the rest of the truck and trailer have uh, Smarties 24/5s. Got this thing whistling along now. Not quite at the speed limit, but it's fast enough for the weight and conditions. Of, you know, windy road. Oh, what if we get pulled in at the scale? Continue straight on. Not the heaviest truck, but it has a triaxle. I don't know if they add that to it. I'm gonna say the truck's 24,000. Trailer's 25, so that's uh, 49,000. That's 60, call it 70. Uh, 119,000 minus 117,000 pounds? Mm, maybe. Find out soon enough if they call us in. Continue straight on. Way station. Oh yeah, we get to pull in. So what did I say? 117. Uh, <clears throat> and if it's light, it's probably because I underestimated the weight of the triaxle truck, but uh, I just don't know how... Uh, the Viper is weighted if they calculate all that with it. Keep to the right and then go straight on. Continue straight on. you can. Turn left now.
112, 278. So I would say I probably uh, get ready to turn right. Added too much to the trailer turn and the right truck, now. obviously. Huh? Most probably got the truck. <clears throat> I gave the trailer 20,000 because it's kind of heavy chassis, but it's not a lot of else to it. And probably as those bolsters might be aluminum, I guess. Turn left. Got lost there in my thoughts driving around in, in that loop there thinking about being a Boy Scout. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking of the being a Boy Scout. It was good times doing it in the country. can start to see on the GPS now just coming into view up the hill on the SCS map so I'm gonna do a little tutorial um, I'll get it out soon maybe I don't know if you'll see it before this video but on profile so I'm gonna just do another profile kind of go through the whole garment of things you can do with them how to protect it how to copy it how to save them how to go into beta how to go out of beta and more importantly how to clone and change a profile like say you get a new truck and you want it in its own profile but you don't have to redo all the discovery you've done well clone the good profile you got and then sell the old trucks in it put the new trucks in it and uh, you can do it and just get it, ready to turn left it just takes minutes it's not a big deal and it's not scary and it's so worth doing to protect your turn left now to protect the integrity of your game and gameplay and get some of these trucks separated so you don't have everything in one basket up here Uh, uh, taking some uh, dirt bike double, uh, I'm sorry, uh, triple low boy up here, and it's no issue really. So, this is a cakewalk with this little B double here. Oh, okay, we can go straight. We got choices. I guess we'll go this way. Maybe the job triggers at this end of the yard, it looks like. Yeah, we might have, uh, who knows, maybe before Thanksgiving or the beta might be over soon. Who knows? It hasn't changed from 0.55 in the last few days, I don't think. I can't remember what the highest I've seen the number go to. Like the little, you know, 149.0.55 or whatever. 
0.1.55, whatever it is right now. I think it's 0.55. I wonder at the highest that number's ever gone. How many patches and things to do. <laughs> One thing I want to check is get in the rain again and see if they put the mist behind the tires back because it seemed to be missing after the first because in the first beta or when it first came out I know I was driving in the rain for sure and I could see a spray coming up behind the truck and then that went away it's like they're working on that it could be one of the things they're working on for the release so I guess I should uh, I did do a little driving in the rain on that uh episode that just aired yesterday on the used truck deal a little stretch of rain there on my last trip Mikey, I'm relieved that we have arrived safely at our destination why don't you run in and see the shipper receiver while I regain my composure oh and try blowing your horn before you back up all right <laughs> chances of remembering about zero I was singing low to get going up this hill here Nice short truck. But I was impressed with the traction and grip coming out. I got those uh, Continental Canada tires on there from um, on the drivers from uh, Smarty. They just look capable. <laughs> they look like they'd be a good tire. They weren't the best tire in my rain test I did a year or two ago. into those piles there. Give myself lots of room so I can maneuver that trailer in there. I can't remember. This thing backs up okay. It's a little quick on the rear trailer, I think. Oh, hey, what about... There we go. Oh, and uh, what was with the other one? The four-ways? Oh, yeah, that four-ways going. Well, let's... Uh, bear down here, see what we can do. Oh. Gotta get that turning in there, but gotta be careful about how much and how quick it starts to turn, because I don't know about catching it. How hard is it to catch? Oh. Jeez, it's turning kind of slow. Wow, way slower than I thought it was gonna. Yeah, that's no good. We're gonna have to uh, pull up. Wow. I expected it to take off real easy. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So, we can be a little more aggressive with it. <clears throat> Try again. Oops, go the other way. Put some angle in it. Oh, okay. Not much more than that. Take a little out. Got too much now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now see, yeah, it is definitely, once it starts to go, it's gone. Okay. Keep that in mind. Start steering it out now. Oh, more. Oh, jeez, look at that stubborn little thing. <laughs> Oh, you're making a fool of me, you nasty little trailer. Let's see if we can save the day here. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a problematic little beast, isn't it? Yeah, it was reluctant to get going, and then once it started going, it, Galdarn went and kept going, so we've got to turn it a little more. We've got to get on it pretty quick. Okay. Get this. Okay. Move back. Let's 
to be one of those ones. If we even get it close, I'm going to be real happy. A little more. Straighten her out. Oh, we're losing it at the back, but we might get credit for it. And we'll take it. Oh, it's a, it is a tricky little devil. Okay. Get those four ways off. Yeah, good truck. I'll um, put a link to the one in the Google Drive. The skin's up on Steam, the Hell Creek Logging. And, uh, yeah, we'll do that. The, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that trailer, I'm trying to think of what's, I guess, that looks like kind of a heavy-duty trailer, though. It's got the fairly deep chassis to it. There's a lot of axles. Huh. I guess I gave 24,000 pounds for the truck being a tri-drive, but, hmm. I guess a guy could go sometime and just mess around, just weigh the truck itself and see what it is. And that being said, I wonder how accurate all of that is. That, that would be an interesting test, you know. Weigh the truck, weigh the trailer, and get a load on it and do a long one so you're going to get called into a scale and just see what happens be interesting anyway uh, as always appreciate you guys following along i hope you enjoyed the scenery up there on recon mountain <laughs> and uh yeah it's it's looking really good there's so many amazing things going on right now with this game and 149 being as good as it is and running as well as it does and fast loading times like it loads really quickly you're not sitting there with the waiting forever for things to start and all kinds of wonderful things going on so Lots to look forward to over the next while, and maybe Thanksgiving weekend for you guys down in the States is going to be pretty good. There might be a bunch of stuff going on by then. Who knows? 149? Maybe the farm equipment DLC? Uh, that's going to be pretty neat. And I'm not sure if that's going to be a DLC or is it going to be part of the uh, 149? I forget. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, keep you up to date, and... Um, I'll be looking into your comments on the used truck video and uh, seeing how that's going. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys, and bye for now. <laughs>